Hi, we're going to be practicing subtracting two numbers with operands up to 1,000. So our first question says to subtract 3 minus 1. Now, if you look at it and you cannot answer the problem right away, use a strategy to help you. So for example, I can draw a picture. If I start with 3, how many am I taking away? One, cross it out. How many do I have left? Two, so three minus one equals two. Good job. 24 minus 16. 24 minus 16 is more involved. I could draw 24 pictures and cross out 16 of them, but we would be here for a while. So I like to use my standard subtraction. I'm going to take this problem and I'm going to put it in a column. 24 minus 16. Okay, now when we subtract, we start on the right and we work left. So the first thing I have to ask myself, can I do four minus six? And I think to myself, if I have four apples, do I have enough to give you six? I don't. So that means I need to go next door to the tens place. I'm going to take a group of 10 and I'm going to give that 10 to the four. Think of it as a neighbor. I need to borrow 10 of your apples. So if I have 10 apples from the neighbor and four, that makes this four now 14. But since I took one of those 10 bags of apples away from her, we gotta take it down to one. So can I do 14 minus six? I can. What is 14 minus six? It's eight. And what is one minus one? Zero. So 24 minus 16 equals eight. Good job. Next, 20 minus two. This is one where I should be able to just count back two. I shouldn't need to draw and I shouldn't need to write out the problem. Now, if your teacher says, show your work, show your work, of course. But if I have 20, and I take away two, count back two. So 20, 19, 18. So 20 minus two is 18. 13 minus 11. Let's write it in our column form as practice. And again, you might be able to look at it and just answer it, but let's practice. Okay, if I have three apples, do I have enough to give you one of them? I do, so I can subtract it. What is three minus one? It's two. And what is one minus one? Zero, so 13 minus 11 is two. Next, we have 17 minus seven. Okay, so if I have 17 and I have seven to take away, Let's ask, if I have seven apples, can I give you seven apples? Do I have enough? I do. So what is seven minus seven? It's zero. And there's nothing in this spot, so it's kind of like there's like a zero here. We don't actually put it there, but I'm putting it there to hold a place. So what is one minus zero? It's one. So 17 minus seven equals 10. Next, 25 minus 7. And this time it's multiple choice. Now, I could draw a picture, but let's do our standard subtraction. 25 minus 7. Okay, we're in the ones place. I'm going to ask you, can I do it? If I have five apples, can I give you seven of them? Do I have enough to give you seven? I don't. So let's go to the neighbor's house. He has two, two uh, packs of 10 apples. So I'm gonna take one of his packs of 10 and I'm gonna give that 10 over here. So now instead of five, I have 15. Can I subtract now? Absolutely. 
What's 15 minus 7? It's 8. And what is 1 minus 0? Remember we said there's no 0 there, but you could put it there if you needed to. It's 1. So 25 minus 7 equals 18. Nice job. Next problem, 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 is either going to be 8, 7, 5, or 4. So if you're not sure, this is a good one where you can draw a picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I take away 1. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 7. Again, you might be able to just look at the problem and answer it. But remember, if you're stuck, use a strategy to help. 19 minus 15. Okay, let's rewrite it in a column for practice. 19 minus 15. My answer, my difference will either be 3, 4, 6, or 7. Okay, ones place. Can I do 9? minus 5. I need more on the top. Do I have more on top in the ones place? I do. So 9 minus 5 equals 4. And what's 1 minus 1? 0. We don't need to put that 0, but we can. So 19 minus 15 is 4. Nice work. This time we have 21 minus 17. Okay, should we solve it this way or should we put it in a column? Let's put it in a column. 21 minus 17. Remember, subtraction problems, the greater number always has to go first, here or on top. Okay, one's place. Can I do one minus seven? Do I have more on the top? I don't. So thinking of our neighbors, okay, if I want to give you seven apples and I only have one, I'm going to go to my neighbor who has two bushes of, bushels of apples. I'm going to take one of his ten bushel away and give that ten to here. And now instead of one bushel, I have eleven. Now I can subtract. What's eleven minus seven? It's four, nice work. And what's one minus one? It's zero. Again, we don't need to put that there, but we can if we choose to. Okay, so 21 minus 17 is four, way to go. Let's do one more. Oh my goodness gracious, you can do this. Six minus one equals what? Is it four? five, two, or three. If you need the scratch pad, you do it. Six to start. There's six, and I take away one. How many are left? There's five. So six minus one equals five. Way to go subtracting. You rocked.